A 2022 Euros winner story. Deep in my heart, I knew that we had the talent in that team to win it. As told by the Lionesses themselves. We've inspired the next generation of young girls. Lionesses, Champions of Europe, available to watch now on BBC iPlayer. Today at six, more than 50 countries meet in Germany to coordinate weapons supplies for Ukraine. More money, missiles and ammunition have been promised, but not the extra tanks that President Zelensky is appealing for. This isn't just about Ukraine's security. It's also about European security. And it's about global security. It's about the kind of world that we want to live in. But Kyiv insists it needs more. We'll explain why and what it means for the war, also on the programme. Christmas had a bit less sparkle, with a drop in the amount we bought in the shops and online in December. We can't wake up in 20 years with, like, 2 million Andrew Tates. Teenage girls tell the BBC how they were contacted online by the influencer Andrew Tate and his brother. And... Fright Night on Sea, how South End is becoming something of a global capital for amateur horror movies. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, Britain's number one Cam Norrie is knocked out of the Australian Open, beaten in the third round by a rising Czech star. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. More than 50 countries have been meeting today in Germany to discuss sending aid and weapons to Ukraine. There have been pledges on missiles, armour and combat vehicles, but the Allies weren't able to agree on sending heavy tanks. That's Ukraine's government says it needs to break the deadlock in the war. Russia has warned that providing tanks would mark an extremely dangerous escalation. Here's our Europe correspondent, Jessica Parker. The time is coming up to a quarter past six, our top story this evening. More than 50 countries meet in Germany to pledge more weapons and vehicles for Ukraine, but not the extra tanks Kyiv says it needs. And forget life on Mars, could there be some on Jupiter? The scientists about to launch a spacecraft to find out. Coming up in Sports Day on the BBC News Channel, after an ugly build-up, Chris Eubank Jr and Liam Smith weigh in ahead of their middleweight fight tomorrow. Rising prices are affecting us all, but research shows it's being felt more in the north than the south. The Centre for Cities think tank says the impact of the cost of living crisis is significantly higher in Blackburn and Burnley, for example, than in Cambridge and London. It says the disparity was down to the higher proportion of poorly insulated housing in the north and the fact that workers in the north tend to earn lower wages and so spend more of their income on essentials like food and heating. Our political correspondent Alex Forsyth has spent the week in Blackburn meeting people in the community trying to help those in need. Weather fronts close by to the north of the UK. I think the temperatures will slowly start to creep up as we go through the course of the um, week next week. The weather will be variable. I think generally it is going to be fairly bright. So yes, a, a, a nippy weekend I think for most of us actually this weekend. Warming up next yeah, week a yeah. bit. Thanks Thomas. That's all from the BBC News at six. So it's goodbye from me and on BBC One, we now join the BBC's news teams where you are.